<laughs> considered a small Gives us something to talk eruption. about going into weather, doesn't it? Yeah. That's kind of like, ooh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. I, I think that the, uh, the Space Needle would get hit more often because it's the tallest stru structure, and of course, lightning always looks for the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. So fascinating. All right, guys, we're gonna be seeing a warming trend. Are you ready? Temperature readings are gonna start pushing back into the 50s. Up at Sun Valley, there was little hit and miss pockets of snow, little flurries every now and then, but boy, that is still a tremendous amount of snow. You know that that area has 184% of normal for normal snowpack for this time of the year. Let's talk about some of the snowfall totals. I thought this was interesting to note. In the last 48 hours, Bogus Basin has had 15 inches of brand new snow. Now, this is what they say at their website at Tamarack. I don't know if this is correct or not. Seems a little bit... Uh, a little bit much, but I'll take it. 28 inches of Tamarack, Brundage, 15 inches, Sun Valley, two inches, Pomerel, three inches, and Jackson Hole has had 10 inches of snow. So the snow just keeps piling up, but that's it. We're gonna shut it off for a little while, but it starts coming back here later on this weekend. Let's talk about what the temperature trend is going to be looking like. Here's the average high. It's now jumped up to 50 degrees for this time of the year. Today so far, 41 degrees. Tomorrow we go to 44. On Thursday, we go up to 48 degrees. Then on Friday, we should hit the average of 50 degrees. And then look at what happens on Saturday. We jump up to 53 degrees. So it's gonna be warmer than the average on Saturday. But there's also going to be rain that's going to be moving into the area on Saturday. So how does it get warmer when it starts raining? It should start cooling off. That's because the origin of the moisture is going to be subtropical in nature. And as a result, it's going to usher in warmer conditions. There are just a couple of little hit and miss pockets of rain and some mountain snow that continues to move in on this northwesterly flow. The air is rather brisk right now. So the combination of the temperature readings that we're seeing with the wind, it's making it feel like it's much chillier out there right now. But this is the last of the series of disturbances. So once this low moves on through, that's it. The chilly flow is getting ready to go go away. It's going to be replaced by a flow that's going to be coming in more out of the southwest by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is what's going to usher in the milder conditions. And then that low pressure system out there in the Gulf of Alaska is going to be setting up residence in the Pacific Northwest on Saturday and Sunday. And as it does, it'll put us into that very moist, very warm southwesterly flow. And that's why I think weekend storms are going to start coming back into the picture. On Saturday, it'll be mostly valley rain with mountain snow. Snow. And then on Sunday, some of the models are indicating that that low is going to generate a front that's going to generate snow in the Treasure Valley by Sunday afternoon. So that's what we're going to be watching. But for right now, the pattern is nice and dry. It's going to be a little bit on the chilly side tonight. But tomorrow's when those temperature readings as the flow starts coming in more out of the west will start to warm up. So you can see dry conditions. A few flurries are possible in the mountains tomorrow. But then as we take a look ahead at what happens on Thursday, Thursday the air continues to warm and we'll see partly cloudy skies. So here's my seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. 44 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. Let's go partly cloudy tomorrow, partly cloudy on Thursday. We'll see some sunshine on Friday in the morning. Temperatures approaching 50 degrees, that's average, but we'll see increasing clouds later in the day on Friday. And then valley rain is expected on Saturday. It will probably be a rain snow mix or change over to snow sometime Sunday with more snow in the forecast on Monday. So we haven't seen the last of this stormy pattern by any stretch of the imagination. The mountains are going to be seeing, I'd say, a few flurries tomorrow, but overall dry conditions on Thursday and Friday. But here comes the snow again to our local mountains on Saturday, on Sunday, and on Monday. So we're just going to keep stacking and racking more, uh, racking and stacking, I guess is the terminology, more snow up in those mountains. So the skiers, your husband's going to love it. I know. <laughs> but we're just going to keep, it's going to be a fascinating spring. Yeah. That's for darn sure. Yeah. It, what, we've been blessed this year. It's it, really, have been. it's been we nice. We just control the and, flooding. Yeah. And we're still right. below the record, right? Overall for yeah. the season. I'm going to find out with the, where we're at, but I think we're still about 10, 12 inches below hitting the all-time record for the state okay. or for this year. Okay. Yeah.